tell us about the foxes and how he's come forward from, from the Dante. Well, it, the foxes, obviously, he had a hardish race at York. And we're on quite a tight time schedule leading up to the Derby. It's quite close this year. But I'm really pleased with the way he's come out of it. He had a couple of canters this morning. He was fresh and well. He's been bucking in the indoor school and looked really happy with himself. So uh, hopefully we can sort of get him back to how he was just before York uh, in time for, for the derby. So is that a watching brief now in, in the week that comes leading up to it? Well, I think at this it? moment, unless something goes wrong, I think we're, we, you know, he's, he's got his mojo back and we're, we're, all systems go for Epsom. Um, but it is a tough, I think it's a tough ask on any horse to, you know, run at that level, have a hard race and then back up two weeks later or just over two weeks later. But um, that's, you know, that's the test. These horses have, have got to pass if they want to win a derby. It's, you know, it's never going to be easy. Um, and uh, he, he, I think he's got everything which proved at York. The, the, the horses, he travels well, he relaxed well and he finished his race well. Um, you know, another two furlongs, I'd, I'd be fairly confident what we saw at York that that shouldn't be a problem. And I certainly would hope that, that Epsom wouldn't be a problem for him either. Yeah, and the type of horse required, you've, you've been there and come very close in the past. When did he come on your radar as kind of ticking those boxes? Has he always been considered your kind of derby horse, if you I, like? I think when Eldonald bought him, that was, yeah, you know, yeah. it was very much the, you know, you always hope we could we could get King Power a derby contender. That's, you know, part of the brief. So um, he was bought as a yearling, obviously at Tassels, and he was the most gorgeous horse. Uh, and he still is just an absolute, you know, beautiful specimen of a, of a thoroughbred uh, and, a, and a fantastic pedigree as well, obviously, because we had uh, his half brother, Bangkok, who ran in the Derby, won a Derby trial at Sandan and was disappointing in the Derby, but was a very tough, consistent mile and a quarter horse. Didn't win a group one level, but was, you know, very consistent at a, at a high level. Um, and th this horse is, is slightly different. He's probably an even better specimen than Bangkok was in, in terms of a, a physical. And uh, he's just, to me, he's got everything in, in terms of the, the class to, that he shows in his homework and a very relaxed nature, which I think is going to be important on Derby Day. Very. There's a lot of chat about those that finished in behind him in the Dante being unlucky. But actually, could you mark up his performance based on him sort of hanging across the track slightly? Was that just getting a little bit Yeah, I, I think he, he did a similar thing actually in the Craven. I mean, yeah. he sort of slightly hung right, but I think he got tired in the Craven. I, uh, and that's why, you know, he needed the run. And just as he let down and got tired, he, he, he sort of lugged, lugged a little right. I think in the Dante, it was more looking for the, you know, Sheen sort of let him go to where the, uh, you, you know, his chief rival was. Um, so I'm, I'm not, he's a very well balanced horse. He doesn't do it at home. He hasn't done it in his previous races. You know, he's a Royal Lodge winner at the end of the day. So he was a high class two year old. Um, and yeah, I think he ticks a lot of boxes in what is a very open derby.